therapist, Kristen Jacobson. Hey everyone, I'm Kristen, the Anxiety Therapist. Thanks for checking out my video podcast this week. Today I wanna talk about a concept that's near and dear to my heart as a therapist who specializes in anxiety and perfectionism. And that's the idea that it's the effort and process and not just the outcomes that truly matter when it comes to success and our mental well-being. So we live in a world that often measures success solely by outcomes, right? the number of likes on social media, the paycheck at the end of the month, our yearly review, the final grade on an exam. These are the markers of success that we're bombarded with daily and that we're accustomed to just in in kind of how we grew up. But here's the thing, our fixation on the outcomes can really be a significant source of anxiety and perfectionism. Anxiety often creeps in when we're overwhelmed by the fear of not achieving a specific outcome. And so we worry about what others will think about failing and the list goes on. And then perfectionism sort of takes it even further. It insists that anything less than a perfect outcome is a failure. And so it's sort of this never ending loop of of stress and pressure. So anxiety often thrives on the anticipation of future outcomes. It's that sort of nagging feeling that if things don't turn out exactly as planned, then something terrible will happen. This fear of uncertainty can be pretty paralyzing and prevent us from taking risks and trying new things. So it's sort of a vicious cycle, right? As the more we fixate on outcomes, the more anxious we become. And then perfectionism on the other hand, drives us to fixate on flawless outcomes. So it takes a step further. It's that inner critic that says, if it's not perfect, it's not good enough. And so this relentless pursuit of perfection can lead to a lot of self-criticism, high levels of stress, and a lack of self-compassion. So what is the antidote to this anxiety and perfectionism? Shifting the focus to the effort and the process. And here's why. Number one, growth happens in the process. So when we're solely fixated on the outcome, we really miss the growth that happens in the journey. And the process is where we learn, adapt, and evolve. And it's where we build resilience, problem solving skills, and character. And a lot of times the process can feel uncomfortable because it's unfamiliar, because we're stepping outside of our comfort zones, right? We we might be learning something new or trying something new and that's uncomfortable. But the goal is to sort of learn how to ride the wave of those emotions, of that discomfort. Number two is intrinsic motivation. So when we find joy and fulfillment in the effort we put in, we're more likely to stay motivated. Intrinsic motivation is the kind that comes from within. So it's a lot more sustainable and fulfilling compared to the fleeting rewards of external validation. So if we're only motivated by external validation and and getting that sort of reassurance and recognition and appreciation from external sources, that motivation is gonna diminish a lot more quickly versus if it comes from within, if it's intrinsic. And then number three is reducing anxiety. So by shifting our focus to the process, we alleviate some of the anxiety tied to the outcome obsession. And we make room for self-compassion and the understanding that it's okay to make mistakes and maybe adjust our goals, right? A lot of times we have sort of these rigid expectations. And then as we go through the process, we realize that those need to be adjusted and need to have some some fluidity or flexibility. But sometimes we kind of hold ourselves hostage to those expectations expectations. So I just want to share some practical steps to help you break free from this cycle. The first is engaging in mindfulness practices. So engaging in mindfulness exercises to stay present in the moment and cultivate a non-judgmental awareness of your thoughts and feelings is going to be really important. And this can help you shift your focus from the future outcome to the current process. Number two is to set SMART goals. And SMART is an acronym that refers to specific, measurable, 
achievable, relevant, and time bound. So you want your goals to be smart, right? Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound that emphasize the process and the steps needed to get there. And so this way you have a clear roadmap for your efforts and you sort of break things down into more bite-sized pieces that feel a bit more manageable and not so overwhelming. Number three is practicing self-compassion. So treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would treat a friend and just remember that making mistakes is part of the human experience so think about the compassion you would demonstrate to a loved one and and try to demonstrate that that same compassion to yourself four is to embrace the learning so reframing your mindset to see mistakes as opportunities for growth and learning is really important. And this is the process where you build your expertise and resilience. So a lot of people, because they are fearful that they will fail or that the outcome won't be what they want it to be, they won't even try. And that's such a self-sabotaging behavior. So if you do try something and you fail or it doesn't turn out as you expected, you know, really praise yourself for the, the fact that you, you even tried, that you, you put yourself out there, that you were probably a little bit uncomfortable, but you tried and you learned from that experience. And so now you can go back and try again with more information instead of a lot of times we just avoid, right? We, we self-sabotage and we don't even try in the first place. And then finally, gratitude journaling can be really helpful. So I think when we struggle with anxiety or perfectionism, we often are so focused on the negatives and what we give our attention to grows so if we're constantly nitpicking and finding fault with what with our performance or or what we're doing that is what what subconsciously we're going to find more of so having a gratitude journal where maybe you reflect at the end of the day on the things that went well, on the things that you accomplished, on anything that you learned throughout that process that you're grateful for can really help to shift that focus back to the more productive, more, more positive things. So just remember that success isn't defined solely by outcomes it's about the journey the effort the learning the growth really try to shift your focus reduce anxiety and cultivate that intrinsic motivation by really celebrating the beauty of the process and stay tuned for more tips and insights on managing anxiety and perfectionism if you're interested in diving deeper into those topics and others don't forget to sign up for my email list where i share more exclusive content and resources to support your mental health journey. And you can do that on my website, catharticspacecounseling.com. So until next time, take care of yourselves and embrace the process of growth.